Most people have never seen and will never see the great wildebeest migration, but that doesn't stop them from caring about it. They say that knowing is understanding, and if you understand, you'll care. So let me take you to the Masai Mara, where the great migration is reaching its climax, and over 1.3 million wildebeest and zebras have arrived on the short grassy plains. The sight is absolutely breathtaking. From horizon to horizon, the land is dotted with wildebeest and zebras. And from a distance, the golden savannah looks as though it's infested with ticks. It's hard to fall in love with a wildebeest. It's a large, dark brown animal, about the size of a cow. And its four legs are longer than its hind legs, which gives it a sloping back and a loping gait, a bit like a hyena. And it has a contrasting black face and a shaggy white beard that glows in the evening sunlight and they have an expression of constant surprise in their eyes. Overall, it gives you an impression of a rather dumb animal. And to make it worse, it has a vocabulary of only one word. When that word is repeated by hundreds of thousands of individuals, it sounds like a chorus of frogs in a swamp. Hardly a wild beast. We've driven down to the edge of the Mara River, where a massive herd of wildebeest mixed with zebras has congregated. You can see this enormous long line. It must be about a kilometer long. Several hundred animals, if not thousands, have lined up and they're edging their way very, very carefully towards the river's edge. The river is in full flow. It's actually moving pretty rapidly. Every now and again, one will actually step into the water and then suddenly buck backwards and race back up the hill and the entire herd turns and runs back in a cloud of dust. There's something that they're sensing. It's probably the crocodiles. We can see several very large crocodiles lying in wait right on the river's edge. And now the wildebeest are right down at the water's edge and they're staring into the muddy pools. And there they go, there they go. Oh my God, they're just leaping into the water one after the other. Thousands of animals just racing down the hill. It's unstoppable. They're thrashing about in the water and trying to get across as quickly as possible. The first few have just made it across to the other side. They're bleating. They're they're climbing up the hill. What a relief. They've made it across the river without getting caught by one of the crocodiles. This is now like a tap turned on. These wildebeest and zebras are just flowing across this river. It's an unbelievable spectacle. They're leaping in the water. Some of them are going in the wrong direction. Looks like they've lost their calves or something. This is amazing. There are several tourist vans that have arrived to watch this crossing. This is what people come to Kenya to see. It's the spectacle of thousands of wildebeest and zebras crossing the river in these very, very narrow points. For the predators, this is a feast. And for the tourists, this what makes the journey to Africa worthwhile. That was the incredible chorus of several lionesses who are preparing to leave the site where they've been lying down with their cubs. We're just turning around so that we can see where they're going. They have six cubs and there are three or four females. And somebody much further ahead was calling and they responded. They were literally just a meter or two from the car. The wildebeest are the most populous of all the antelopes in Africa. In fact, they used to occur in huge concentrations in southern Africa as well, Namibia, Botswana, Mozambique and South Africa. But today, the last remaining Great Migration is actually this one. These wildebeest have trekked for hundreds of kilometers to get here from the Ngorongoro crater more than 300 kilometers south. Their journey takes them right across the Great Serengeti National Park in northern Tanzania to reach us here in the Maasai Mara in Kenya. They come to the Mara every year because this is their dry season refuge. And they'll gorge themselves on the sweet short grass here and have their calves. The wildebeest and zebras will stay in Kenya for only three or four months before starting on their return journey back to Tanzania. It's a cycle that's gone on for millennia, and we're very lucky to witness it here this year. But it might not be so in just a few years' time if the Tanzanians go ahead with a plan to construct a highway right across the migrating path of the wildebeest and the Serengeti. It's not too late to stop the project. Join us in appealing to the Tanzanian authorities to stop the Serengeti Highway. This is Paula Kahumbu reporting for Wildlife Direct. If you want to sign a petition to stop the Serengeti Highway or to see more photographs of the Great Migration, please check out our website at wildlifedirect.org.